Hello everyone, this is Yuki Marvel, and we are gonna react to the Twisted Wonderland dorm uniforms. In other words, I will be giving my genuine opinion on the dorm uniforms, whether I like drawing it, whether I think they're actually nice looking, or if there's something I would wear, or if there's a very specific nitpicky element of a specific character wearing the uniform I either like or don't like, I will point that out too. <laughs> Alrighty, we're just gonna jump right in, starting with Hearts Libule. Uh, but I actually really like Hearts Libules. Like, I don't know if I'd wear it. <laughs> it's like, too formal for me, but I actually really like it. Especially Riddles, which is extra elegant, obviously, because he's dorm leader. But, I do- I don't like- I take that back- I don't like, um, Caters and Aces because of the red vest, like, there's already a lot of red on here. And the shade of red that the vest they have doesn't really match the jacket either. Or the red paint on the rose, it just doesn't match. So, there is that. Um, for Trey, I'm kind of glad they gave him a hat because his hair is a nightmare. <laughs> his hair is a nightmare to draw, okay? I did a little thing for Instagram and I had- and it was hearts of and I drew Trey. And his hair was my least favorite part. I don't know, did I? Unless I drew him with the hat. I don't really remember, but. I remember looking at Trey's like school uniform version where he doesn't have a hat and I hated it. <laughs> I also like how Riddles has this crown. I don't really know why, but I do. Even though I forgot to draw it in a comic recently, but. <laughs> I actually like it because it it's uh, obviously a reminder of like the queen of the Disney Queen of Hearts' little crown of itself, but yeah, I actually really like Hearts Labiel's uniforms. I'd wear them if I was forced to and in like a fancy event. Alright, we're gonna move on to Savannah Claw. I actually like theirs too. Theirs is one of my favorites. Uh, not because of the browns. I don't know if I could wear all the browns and the yellows, but I like the leather jackets. <laughs> I am a huge fan of leather jackets. I have two in my wardrobe, and I love it. I also, I don't know why, but I like the little, the sashes that Leona and Jack are wearing. I really like them. I also just like how the whole outfit in general is styled. I like Ruggie's gloves. And personally, I don't really see anything ah oh fuck i don't really see anything i hate about these uniforms i actually really like them and like they even made the skinny guy ruggy match in a dorm where it's mostly muscly men and these uniforms were designed for that so it's nice how they made a version for ruggy that fits him too i really like these uniforms I really like them. <laughs> I can't really think of anything bad against them. Uh, I guess one thing would be the colored beads on Leona and Jack. I just, I don't know why, I just feel like the reds and the blues and the greens don't belong. The reds maybe, but not really the blue and the green. Like the other um, necklace Leona's wearing, the one with the teeth I think and then Jack's little shark tooth necklace that matches that works but I don't know if these beads are they beads I don't really know what they are if they are beads and we're gonna go with that until someone corrects me um I don't think they really fit I guess I feel like they don't belong like the one thing that's out of place um, actually, it felt so out of place I was drawing a comic with Leona in it. Actually, I think I've done this multiple times. I haven't drawn the beaded necklace with the reds and the blues. Like, both times. But otherwise, I actually really like Savannah Claw's uniform. Alright, next one. I... <laughs> I love... Suits. I love dramatic flowing... The idea of... A coat flowing dramatically behind me as I walk that like the one the gray one Azul has on with the purple inside I love it I love these stupid little hats where the seashell feels out of place but it, it really isn't and it actually matches really well I also don't know why and I would never wear them but I like Jade's and Floyd's earrings 
they're actually very cool. I actually really like them. The one thing, and this isn't really even dorm uniform related, the one thing I actually don't like drawing is their hair as characters. It's their hair. <laughs> like, the, like, I just, making the identical factor between Jade and Floyd is their hair. I don't ever get that confused. I'm pretty sure. I haven't yet. But, um, Jade's and Floyd's hair, I don't know why I struggle with it. And then there's Azul's, and I don't know why it's like even more confusing for me with the hat on, even though usually it helps. I also just suck at drawing hats in general. But I also want to know is, why are the gloves white? Is there a reason for that, and that they're not like a black like the coats? Or gray that matches the jacket, or the, is there a reason it's white? It does look good. It's not, it's not, it doesn't look bad. It looks good. I just, I want to know why wouldn't the other colors work with it. <laughs> um, so, I actually really like Octavianos. We're going to move on to Scarabias now. I actually, in the terms of concept, really like Scarabias. I like how it's loose-fitting and stylish, and Jamil's has a hood. However, <laughs> the amount of metals on here is something I despise, especially Kaleem's. I want you to look at Kaleem's. Like, this headscarf thing going on here where it loops around from his headband to the to the neckish area, it looks cool, but holy crap, I can't draw it. <laughs> especially with the like metal ornaments on top, I just can't do it. And then there's all the medals on his bracelets, right? There's the bracelets too. And this one, the one on his, which hand would that be? I guess his left hand is like a glove and it's like connects from here to here. And I wouldn't understand the physics of that unless I saw his hands up, which I don't think is any of the emotes he actually has. I'm not sure. Jamil's though isn't that bad. I just usually don't draw like, I don't know, I guess a little bit above elbow length. Like, I don't usually draw super far down. And with Kaleem's, I always have to oversimplify because I just can't go into that level of detail. Except for that one time I did, <laughs> but I regretted it so much. I was stuck on his the medals of his outfit for, like, hours. It was awful. <laughs> but... In terms of appearance, and in terms of whether I would wear it, I actually really do like it. I would wear it. I don't know if I'd be able to get everything on by myself, because it looks like a lot. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it, but I think out of these two, I'd wear Jamil's more, because I like the hood. Speaking of Jamil, I also don't like drawing his braids. <laughs> like, I will try because I think that's a culture thing and I should try to draw things out of my comfort zone, out of my culture, which is why I try to draw them anyway, despite my dislike towards it. But if I can, I will avoid it with the hood <laughs> and just draw the braids that are falling out of here because I prefer, because the braids that are like in his ponytail, I don't mind drawing braids like that. I do that for Leona. I do it for other characters that wear braids. It's fine. That's fine. It's the ones on like the top of his head. It's the ones like the hoods covering it, but it's like the ones on the top of his head that I just can't do. I don't understand it. And his head always looks like it has like a bulging thing in it. Like his braids are super thick when they're not. So I just, that's a me thing though. That's something I need to get better at. <laughs> but yeah, I would say these uniforms are actually looking pretty nice. I just hate drawing them a lot. <laughs> Pome Fiore. In terms of, um, it looks nice. I don't know if I'd wear it. I don't like the way the sleeves part, like on the big purple, what is that, a coat? I don't want to say a tunic, but I don't know clothes that well. Um, I just don't like it I guess I mean if they were gonna do that I'd prefer it get to like my elbow first not like right at my shoulder that's a personal preference thing but otherwise in terms of drawing it the outfits aren't that hard it's actually pretty basic especially um rooks and apples whose um skirt parts don't even go all the way down it just sort of goes like to their knees or less even the one thing however well there's two things or three. 
three things I don't like about this is overall the the pattern on the left shoulder for the uniforms it's just super complex and I know it's just basically the glorified Pome Fiore logo but I hate getting into nitty-gritty details like that I mean I'll do it if it's a full-on drawing not my comics or the watercolors because with watercolors nitty-gritty details is hard but if it's if it's just uh, like those things I won't do this part I'll actually drop it entirely I was going to but I decided no because something else among the Palme Fiore uniform was already giving me trouble but yeah if I ever draw the Palme Fiore uniform full-on drawing I will draw the insignia as best as I can the other things I don't like about um, Palme Fiore in terms of appearance is Rook's hairstyle. The hat is fine. It actually helps. Like, Rook, keep your hat on. Your bowl cut does not work for you. I just, I'm not good at drawing square bangs. I can't do it. I prefer the triangle bangs like apples and vills, I guess. And then, but otherwise, um, Rook looks great, actually. And then there's Vil. Vil looks great, but holy crap. The way his hair is styled for the dorm uniform is something I just can't do. Because I always end up making the hair look like it's higher than it's supposed to be. It's like a bulging thing on top and it makes his head look small and it's just, it's hard to draw. Especially since they made it worse by adding this really complex pattern crown. Like it looks gorgeous, the villain the uniform looks gorgeous as he should be he's supposed to be the prettiest character in the game story wise anyway but <laughs> it's hard to draw and i actually feel like most of my drawings of vil never do the character justice <laughs> but in all honesty pome fury's uniforms are not one of my favorites wouldn't really wear it don't really like drawing it for like the nitpicky things but I guess out of all the uniforms, it is going to be the simplest, excluding the pattern on the uh, left shoulder and the inside, I guess. The red inside by their necks, because that has pattern on it too. Unless it's apples. You could bypass apples, because his doesn't... The red inside on the coat for the neck part isn't as visible as his as it is on uh, Vils and Rooks. So I guess you could bypass it there, but otherwise, yeah. This is actually one of my least favorite uniforms in the whole game. It's not that it's bad, it's just not my personal preference. As I've listed before, if you want to hear that tirade again. <laughs> Moving on. Igna hides. This one's a little bit trickier because with the other dorms, you get like the dorm leader and then a regular student dorm uniform. In this group, you don't really get that. I would have to look up like a NPC, which I'm not gonna do. <laughs> but I actually like their uniforms the least. Idiot's version especially. It's just, what is the point of the jacket looking like this? Is it even comfy to wear? This looks like they're, um, like in some sort of like F, like not FPS, fuck, hold on. Uh, like some laser tag game. Like, what is this? Like, it fits, um, I guess Idiot's gamer theme, but like he's ever going out to play laser tag, because that's not him. Orthos, um, I'm gonna give a different opinion. I like Orthos. It looks cool. I guess it's easier to make a robot look cool, though. <laughs> um, but I never understood why they needed to cover his mouth, because in the lab coat, um, suit he has, his mouth is exposed and his eyes are covered, so it's like, you never get to see the full face unless you saw chapter 6, which I will say no more about. But yeah, so, I don't know, I guess, and I guess another reason I avoid drawing the brothers especially, but mainly Ignahide is, no, just the brothers, it's just their hair. I don't want to try and draw fire hair, okay? Especially since it grays out at the top and then it's like bright blues in the middle. It's just... Well, I attempted at some point. Yeah, I like ortho and I want to draw ortho. And I'm gonna have to deal with his hair because that's not going away. So I will have to draw it at some point, but for now I won't. I also just eyeshadow. 
Is there a point to the eye shadow here? Like with Idiots especially, it just makes him look like he hasn't slept enough, but I know it's too blue to be just bangs under the eyes because those usually are more purplish, but these are just straight up blue, so he's wearing eyeshadow. He's even wearing lipstick. What's the point of the lipstick? No, like, he can wear it. It's just, is there a purpose to it? It doesn't really help. And I guess Ortho wearing it is a pink design, but I guess there's no point Ortho wearing it either. Does he wear it outside of his dorm uniform? Does Ortho wear Do they wear eyeshadow outside of the dorm? I don't think so. Probably not, right? Um, I don't know, but yeah, I don't like Yngna Hides either <laughs> in multiple different ways. Excluding Orthos, I don't really like Yngna Hides uniforms. I think they should, personally, I think it could have been better. I don't know how, and you know what? I'm not gonna ask them to change it because bro, this game has been out for two to three years now. And there's no point to that. <laughs> so, we'll just live with it because it doesn't look bad. It's just, it could be better. But I don't know why, I just don't like it. I don't hate it, I just don't like it. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the last dorm. DS Somnia. I don't understand the point of the hats. What is the point of the hats? Like... I don't know, it just, to me, makes, it does bring the uniform together, like, head to toe wise, I will acknowledge that, it just, I don't know why, but it, the whole, un the dorm uniforms as a whole give me, like, a military theme, which is really cool, but the hats, I don't know why, just sort of take it away from me, especially when everyone's has, like, little horns on the top, except for Malleus's, because he has horns. I just, I don't know why, but the hats feel a little childish, and it takes away from the military to me. That's just me, though. I'm not sure. I also like how their wands aren't, like, the pens when they're in dorm uniform. Because usually when the form of the magic pen is changed, that's usually only for the house warden. But these guys, they get it like, is this a baton or a sword? I'm pretty sure it's like a baton or sword. One of the two. But I actually really, really like it. And I love the whole uniform in of itself. It's a lot of black, though. I will say this. It is a lot of black. And that's coming from someone who wears basically all black. <laughs> but, um... It's almost nice how the contrast between the light green and the black. Because I think that's why they did such a bright green. Besides Maleficent's fire magic being a bright green. It's very nice. I can't- besides the childish- I don't know why it seems childish. and Maybe I'm not using the right word to describe it. But it, besides my comments on the hats, I actually really like the uniforms. In terms of individual characters, Malleus's hair just confuses the fuck out of me. I don't understand it. <laughs> Sepix is just a pain to draw. And then Lily and Silver are like, okay. Sure, no problem. But yeah, I actually don't really have that much to say about Dia Somnia. It's, it's uniform, it's actually really good. And that's it guys. So what? So I think my favorites out of all of them are Savannah Claw's uniform. And I guess my least favorites are Ignahide's, just I said why. I don't think you need the speech again. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm... Um, gonna end the video here if you guys want me to do more stuff like this just let me know like i can react to the complexities of genshin impact's character designs <laughs> which will be it's a bigger mess and i'd have to divide that by region because there's too many characters to do it in one video <laughs> okay so i'm gonna end this here i'll see you all next time goodbye